there are moments in history where great civilizations are tasked with reinventing themselves or risking collapse. We die emotionally, we die financially. It's killing me to look at my kids and know that they might not have nothing for real. This same mentality that trashes people, trashes the planet. What's wrong with us as a species? Many people are losing hope and they know how bad the situation is. How can the crisis be transformed into perhaps the greatest love story on Earth? This movement against the Keystone XL pipeline, the Occupy movement, Arab Spring, these are all signalers of the emergence of the world's biggest and most profound social movement. Out of that love and that connection of people to each other, they're gonna create a different way to do things. An economist says that essentially more for you is less for me, but the lover knows that more for you is more for me too. We live in a time of record-breaking crisis but it's also a time of record-breaking vision. Being awake is love. That's what it is. I see that the planet is going to be evolved by a massive uprising of creativity joint. What if we were able to connect ourselves on a global basis? I think that humans are capable of great things. They're capable of love. There is no love quite like that. The willingness to put it all on the line for your neighbors, for future generations, for the rest of creation. The spark of a global spring is now blazing. We are creating a new paradigm, as ancient as life. How could this crisis be framed as a great love story? <laughs>